Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Lady, the Painted Lady, and welcome back to another art tutorial. Today we're going to be upcycling some thrifted glass that we got at the thrift store. Um, we're going to be making it into a disco ball, so we're going to be disco-fying some glass pieces today from the thrift store. So what you're going to need is some vases from the thrift store. You're going to need some of these mirror tiles. I bought mine on Amazon. Uh, you can get yours at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or any sort of craft store near you. You're going to need some paint brushes, some metallic paints, some newspaper or anything that's gonna help you reduce the mess that you're going to be making with this, and then some water. All right guys, let's get messy. All right, so to get started, let's lay the newspaper out. Keep our working area all clean. Try to roll up my sleeves a little bit more because I don't want to get paint on them. No, there we go, I should be good. All right, and I'm going to be laying my uh, glass face down on the newspaper. That freaking thing on there, shoot. So we have this turned around and we're gonna get started painting. Um, I paint it metallic because sometimes the uh, glass pieces don't fit perfectly together and this way, even if they don't fit perfectly together, you still have that metallic background so it uh, just looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner when you're finished. <clears throat> so we're just gonna get a thin layer of silver paint all over it. All right, so we have our thin layer of our metallic paint on there and we're just gonna let that dry and then we'll get started putting the mirror tiles on top of them. And then don't forget to clean off your uh, paint brushes after you're done using them. You don't want the paint to get hardened on there and ruin your paint brushes. Ooh, it kind of looks sparkly in there. Look, oh my gosh. Matt, zoom in. Can you see it, how sparkly it is? Kind of looks like, like a fuzzy dog for some reason to me. Whoa. All right, so we have let the paint dry and now we're going to be putting the tile or the mirror tiles on this. Um, a suggestion I have is to not put them on all at once or big strips at a time because it's going to be going around the mirror. So it's gonna be curving, being at different angles, all the different mirrors. So you're actually gonna wanna put them on relatively like uh, in small amounts. Um, if you want it to be super smooth, I would recommend doing one at a time. It's pretty tedious, but the end result is definitely worth it. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting um, the mirror tiles around uh, the vase. And so let's just get started. There's one, we've got one out of hundreds. This is a relatively tedious process. You can uh, put in more at a time, but sometimes you really do wanna go individually because it does uh, change the way that it looks. Let's try a long piece again. You kinda can form them as well if you do like kinda shorter, longer strips but it's just whatever is working for you. If I were to be like, if I was reincarnated, I feel like I was definitely reincarnated from someone that was like a disco queen, you know? I was like, in a past life, I was like that woman that went to all the disco parties and had crazy hair and crazy outfits. That was me. That was me in a past life. That's kind of me now, honestly. Crazy hair, going to concerts, still the vibe. 
and it's really fun and like something that's old or maybe like you have something that's kind of beaten up you can add these little tiles to it like if you could you could really just do like a whole table if you wanted to that would be fun all right so you're going to repeat that process over and over and over again wrapping it around and by the end of it you're going to have a cute little disco base that is so fun look how cute it is and it's a great way to like, just like spice up your home a little bit. Just like a little cute disco ball. I keep, keep mine next to this little uh, colorful candle holder that I have and it just looks really fun. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun disco-fying this little vase today. I hope it spices up your house a little bit. And just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just gotta take it one stroke at a time. Bye guys.